Oni putzen, no man nix hat, no man kann kriegen, no man kriegt nix schuck. Ah, kid, ne bisschen auch hin, ne man kommt wohl ne weg, ne weg, ne soll ne schnell so wie wohl. Äh, ne so schnell du mal noch. Ich glaub dann so, ne gar fünf so weg. Was soll das denn auch kommen, ne ist grob verloren. So schnell, no man nix hat, no man nix schuck. Ah, ne man fünf, ne um, fünf. Jetzt sie ist grob, muss so mal grab, und muss so sehen, grab wie, 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 wie. Okay, I'm ready. You ready? Got the universal- Oh, it's super strong. Okay, okay! Gear. Oh, well, I'll see if it's so. No, no. We live? Mm-hmm. Nick, sir. So. This is the Kerbal Space Program News Network, and we are live here at the Kustan Space Center for the launch of the big Wachimifluvi tomorrow morning. This mission hopes to put a satellite around Kerbin so that you viewers at home can watch this show as it happens live. The Kerbal Space Program has been running for the last few months with their targets in the night sky believing that we could reach it. <laughs> After all, how hard can rocket science be anyway? Tomorrow's launch will be piloted by Janie Kerbin to the orbit around Kerbin, where the satellite will stay and Janie will return. How exactly the satellite works so that you viewers can see this live, I don't know, but it has something to do with a bunch of wavy stuff flying in the air, bouncing around, and shooting to different homes. But I'm assured that it's as safe as it can possibly be. <laughs> uh, but also be assured, I am not a Kerbinaut, but Section 12-4 of the Kerbal Space Program Territory Something states, I need to be dressed in full gear for safety and experience. Let us make our way to Jamie Kerman now. I told you we should grab that transport back there. Wow! This rocket thing is really far away. Hold on, you can offer the airport. That must have the airport. Who knows? <laughs> well, it doesn't have to. Not that you're important at all. Oh, oh. Oh, don't help me. Oh, she looks so long. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, Greetings, Kirby Nuts. Jeannie Kirby. Greetings. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do. Do I look at you or this man that seems to have a great attachment to this camera thing he's carrying? Hey. Just look at me. Ignore him. It gets easier with time. Hey. So, Jenny, are you going into space tomorrow morning? How are you feeling at the moment? Well, Mr. Reporter. I am very excited, as I will be the first Kerbal to ever be in a stable circle around Kerbin. It has been a lifelong dream of mine. But we only discovered space last year! Well, you know, I always knew I was meant for something better. Something... special. You know. Of course. I think. So how exactly will this work tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I will be sitting way at the top of this rocket booster. Rocket booster. Got it. You getting this? Yes. Then there will be this countdown thing, while a bunch of Kerbals tell me what buttons to push and what I can't touch. After the countdown reaches zero, this rocket booster will blow up with big fire and smoke, and all of it will go really, really high. Wow! I know, right? After the rocket booster stops spinning fire, they'll be thrown away, and another rocket booster will take me even higher, while at the same time, not just going straight up, but on its side, too. Wow, that sounds... complicated. Oh, it is! They were saying all kinds of things this morning. Something about not touching some button to... I can't really remember that now, but I'm sure they'll tell me again. Uh, never can be too safe with complicated buttons. Now what happens after that? Well, after that, I will be in a circle around Kerbin, where I will leave the top bit thingy up there and fly around using this. Wow. That looks interesting. Does it actually give you wings? <laughs> no, don't be silly. It just gives me magical air that enables me to walk around in space. 
<laughs> no, I'm still. Oh, no, it won't burn me. Hey. They said I will be more than safe. After that, I will return to the top of this rocket, and I will come back home where a big parachute will help me go slowly down and land softly in the water. So, well, that sounds really in-depth. Uh, let us go to some footage of rockets launching in the last few months. Guys, remember the parachute. Oh. <sighs> okay, Operation Fable is a go. Getting ready to launch. Uh oh. Anytime soon. Looking at that, I really don't want to sit in that pod thingy tomorrow. I'm sure it will be fine. I do have the best junkyard parts on Kerbin after all. <laughs> what do you want about? None. Right, well, this is me, Mr. Reporter, with Kerbin on Jamie Kerman, coming to you live from the Kusan Space Center, and tomorrow we will see this launch safely from cameras aboard this impressive rocket thingamabob. <laughs> yes, rocket boosters. Have a good night, Kerbin. Night, Kerbin. Hi, Mom. Enable the Advanced SAS. The what? The Advanced Sickness Avoidance Solution. Oh, got it! Anti-sickness device is on! 30 seconds to launch. Got it, Houston. 30 seconds.
fucking sponge! Leave that alone! Sorry! Okay, get ready Ten, for full thrusters! Nine, eight, what now? Seven, the thing six, you were just touching! Five, Final thrusters to stabilize the orbit. Increasing. The handle for the thruster just broke off. Don't panic. Look in the emergency bag. There should be another handle. Okay. Looking. I uh, got it. Placing the handle now. Okay. Increasing thrusters. Roger that. Satellite thing is in a complete circle. We are currently viewing the external cameras. All look good, Kerbinot Jenny. Go ahead and leave the pod. Make sure your helmet is secure. Got it. Everything looks good. Leaving the pod. Satellite extensions are being extended. We see you, Kerbinot Jenny. Proceed with the ladder. Got it! Extensions, extensions completed. Go ahead and use the jetpack. Got it! Letting go of the ladder. Woo! Okay, I got this, I got this! Wee! 
good here. Nothing broken or loose, except for... Never mind, just a piece of duct tape that looked loose. Good to hear, Kerbinot Jenny. Sending some pictures now, taken from a distance, and returning to the pod. This floating is making me feel funny. Roger that. Wow. wow! Look at Kerbin! So blue and green! It looks so dark out there! Satellite looks good, but so lonely! Got the ladder again, returning to the pod! Roger that. We will continue to monitor the cameras from here. Wow! Is that the moon? Yes, yes it is. is! You know what? We should totally go to the moon! We should totally go to the moon! Houston, we have a problem. How so, Kerbin Aunt Jenny? How am I going to return to Kerbin? I think we're missing a parachute. Oops. Parachute. <laughs> Language. <laughs>